Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are unboxing the CR10 V2. Uh, I got it right over there. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to set it up and do some test prints. And then in a future video, I'm going to show you how to connect a Raspberry Pi with OctoPrint. And also OctoLabs, I think it's called. And then we're going to also be installing the BL Touch. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Wow, it's a box inside of a box. All right, some packaging. We got a dent right here. I don't know what that's from, um, but I'm sure it's fine. Giant box. And they even include some paper receipts for bed leveling. That's not what it's for, but let's go ahead and open this one up. I think this is the top. Oh, beautiful. All right. So let me get the camera. So this is what it looks like out of the box. Uh, we got our bed here and underneath we have everything else. So let's go ahead and take it out. Okay. Got some more foam. And right here we got our box with our power supply board. And let's go ahead and set that to the side. Um, we get some white PLA, probably won't be using that. Um, I read it's not too great, but I don't care. I got PLA plus and that's what I'm going to use. So right here we have our box with, um, it's like power supply. Yep. And our, um, filament holder and some extra Z stops and all of our tools. And then once we get rid of all this foam, we got our Z access or triangle supports. And then at the bottom here, we just have our hot end and our vertical supports. Probably want to be careful for moving this. Okay, yeah, I already took one of the side triangles off, or the side squares off, that's no problem. This pops right back in. And boom. So out of the box, this is everything. I'm going to go ahead and start taking stuff out of the package. And before we uh, go ahead and set it up, I'm going to test every nut and every bolt and make sure they're nice and tight. I'm also going to adjust the Z rollers. Or not the Z rollers, um, the bed rollers to make sure that this thing isn't wobbly. Because you can see it's got some play right here. Alright. Alright, just a quick update. One thing that you want to make sure, like I said earlier, is that all these are tightened. Um, they're a little strange because um, you can tighten one side and it tightens it for the other. So this one, for example, I can tighten this side and it's going to tighten for that one, but you can't tighten this one or that one. You have to go to this side to do that. Um, and you just want to make sure they're nice and tight so they all roll the same. But you don't want them too tight either, so you just play around with it. Um, it's not too hard to get, but it does take a little bit. Alright, so I removed the glass plate here, and all I'm going to do is slightly um, loosen these clips, because they're a little tight on the bed, and I don't care for it scratching and it just makes it easier to adjust so I'm just going to loosen these just a little bit so they grab a little less tightly. We went ahead and installed the four screws, two on this side and two on that side uh, connecting to the bottom, connecting this uh, vertical to the horizontal frame. So next is the fun part and that is installing these pull rods. Alright so one really important thing um, if you look in the accessory package, right here, 
they give you um, replacement ones for these sides. I didn't know that at first, but you take these off. Well, let me put the camera down. So, okay, yeah, you take those off, and they have a screw that you're gonna attach the rods to. Um, those go up here. But they also give you these ones. Let's go ahead and replace those two because that is not mentioned in the instructions All right, I wouldn't recommend pounding on it, but <laughs> whatever floats your boat Okay, got that one off. All right Boom, so those are on sweet now one of the most annoying parts So you put these screws in here and you attach those they need to be horizontal because they're going to attach to the frame like this. They're going inside there and you're going to do one 90 degree rotation and they should lock in place. It's pretty tricky, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, well, I'm just finishing up here and I just wanted to let you guys know. So when installing the Z-stop right here, um, this was down too low for me to get in there and it would have bent the clip if I tried. So one thing I did, it's super easy, you just grab these right here and you twist them to rotate the machine up. Later we're going to make sure all of them are level and at the same height. Um, but yeah, just a quick tip, do that. So now all I got to do is wire up the machine and we'll get started. Alright, it is all plugged in and ready to go. Um, before we turn it on, I'm just going to make sure these are all tightened because you don't want the nozzle scratch in the bed. This has a really weird yellow coating on it. Uh, it's no problem if you wipe it off, but uh, that is something I did my first time when I cleaned it with alcohol. Um, and you don't want to scratch the bed because if the nozzle is even touching the bed and you slide it, it's going to um, scratch, it'll be a visible scratch. It doesn't really affect the print quality, um, but it's just something to keep in mind. Got everything tightened. Um, another thing to note is right here, on the side, you can use this tool. There's a little switch. Um, if you're in the US, change it from 230 to 115. And all you do is just take this little thing, push it in there, and slide it over. Pretty easy. Okay, so let's go ahead, turn it on, and see how this thing goes. All right, so it's booting up. One thing they recommend is to just go ahead and level the bed, I believe, which I don't like. Um, I believe in preheating the bed before you actually level it. And that gives you an accurate level because it's gonna change a little bit once it's preheated. So what I'll go ahead and do, prepare, preheat PLA, preheat bed. So it's gonna go to 45, so it's not even gonna be that warm. You can probably still touch it and it'd be fine. Uh, but we'll go ahead and let that preheat and then I'll show you guys how to level the bed. All right, so the bed is preheated and the first thing we're gonna do is go to our panel, click on the button, uh, prepare auto home. If everything's set up correctly, it should work flawlessly. We're going to see that nozzle. Okay, so as soon as it stops, this is its auto home level. We need to move the bed all the way up there to the tip. Um, I didn't preheat the tip, so it'll be fine and not dangerous. So uh, we'll go ahead and go to prepare, disable stepper motors. So disable steppers lets you move these now. And they're a little sticky, huh? Being brand new and all. Alright, I'm going to move this out of the way because I saw that getting caught a little bit. Um, I really don't want that getting messed with that cable back there. I don't want that getting ran over or anything. Now the key to leveling the bed is to get a piece of paper. I cut a piece of paper up into four. This is plain printer paper. And you want to keep the nozzle always on the paper in case you scratch it. Alright? So we're going to slowly loosen all these screws so that the bed
gets closer to the nozzle. And the reason this corner is not going to do it is because I tightened all these. So um, it's going to be uneven if we don't loosen it at all. If we did that correctly, we should be able to touch the nozzle to the bed here. So close. Got to keep listening. <laughs> it's, a, it's a process at first, but you get used to it. And once you get really good at it, you can do it way faster than even I'm doing it right now. Sweet, so now our nozzle is pretty much in the perfect spot. You can see that it's grabbing the paper a little bit. You can just barely hear the scratches. So that's what you want for all of it. You don't want it to bite the paper. You just want it to lightly scratch it. Like that. That's perfect. So now we're going to be really careful and slide it over. But we're going to keep the paper under the nozzle so it doesn't scratch anything. Alright, so this one's way too high. I don't know if you can see that, but... Sounds like some spring tension just got loose or something. So I'm going to play with this a little bit. I'm going to go around all four corners and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so I leveled the bed nice and good. Um, it was about paper's height all over. So now I just moved the uh, extruder, or moved the hot end, over here because I'm going to load the filament. Um, and one important thing about loading the filament is you want to cut the end at a 45 degree angle. So this is my end filament. Right, right here. I'm going to take these at a 45 degree angle and cut it. Now I'm going to simply just feed it through until I see it coming out. That way we know it's good. So I'm going to put my spool here. I'm going to pull back on this sprint, pull back on this, and just feed it through. Um, the tube until it starts coming out. Now it's going in. And it's almost there. And now I'm feeling a little resistance, so, yep. It is coming out. And it's clear because that is not our PLA. That's from a pretest. So, let's go ahead and finish that out. And you know what? Let's go ahead and try to just extrude. Um, you have to preheat the hot end first before we do this, but... Uh, Let's go ahead and try to extrude like 100 millimeters. We'll calibrate that later, but for now, let's just try to get all this PLA up. There it goes. So you see how I went from clear to white? Now it's printing ours. All right, we are back, and I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, so after we went through all those steps, um, I went ahead and printed the two different prints on the SD card. Um, they're already pre-spliced and they're in G-code, so, I mean, they did turn out really nice, as expected. Let's see if we can get a close-up here. Um, I'll s let me try to grab some lighting. One second. Alright, hopefully that helps. So you can see, I mean, it looks pretty good. The layer lines 
or almost non-existent. Uh, if you look real close um, on this one, especially, like it looks amazing. The detail is insane. And I also printed off some tests over here, which I will make probably in a later video. Um, I'll cover out how I went from boom, boom to boom. All right. But yep, that's it. Good luck with your prints. Go ahead, try these out. Um, they should turn out pretty nice, but I'm pretty happy with the results.